Hi there, I'm Anya from Peony and Time, which is a small shop for knitwear and knitting patterns. You can find me on Etsy and across most of social media at Peony and Time. I'm most active though on Instagram because it's my favorite. So today's tutorial video is going to be on magic loop knitting. Now I'm sure a lot of you have jumped on this train a long time ago, but I just found out about it about a year ago, I think, and I had talked recently with a couple of my knitting girlfriends who hadn't heard of it. And so I thought it would be fun to just go over it quickly in case there's anyone else out there who was a little slow to jump on the train like I was. All right, let's get to it. All right. So the first thing to know is that you need a pair of circular needles that have a nice long cable on them. This set that I'm using is a set of Knit Picks interchangeable circular needles and I'm just using the longer cable. I love these needles by the way. If you have something that's like a little short cable, those are great for some projects but are not going to work for a magic loop knitting because you simply will not have enough cable to make a loop unless your project has like five stitches total. So anyhow, we will stick with a nice long cable here. So I already cast on 20 stitches here and if I want 20 stitches to be my end count that I'm working with I'm just gonna cast on one extra there we go 21 stitches and then I'm gonna slip these off of the needle and then count in halfway two four six eight ten and then grab that one extra one that we cast on there and then you can just gonna pull this cable through all right like that and then scoot these stitches back up onto the needle and then you're gonna have them just side by side here you're gonna have your stitches with the needle in them on the front and these other ones in the back and the really important thing to remember here is to make sure that these are not twisted around that is no good <laughs> you're gonna end up not being able to knit that so make sure they're not twisted and then you are going to just slip this last stitch right onto the end of that needle. And then I make sure that my live yarn is behind this needle. And then I'm just going to knit these two last stitches together. And that will get rid of that extra stitch that we cast on and then also make a nice strong join for knitting in the round. Okay, and then I'm just going to knit across this needle just like normal. Alright, so I just finished knitting across here. You can see this left needle just pops right off. And then I'm just going to turn this around. I'm going to scoot this needle up onto these stitches. And this yarn is going to go over the back. And I'm going to pull this needle out and pull it around so that now I'm ready to knit these stitches. And the important thing to remember here is, is you want this tight enough that you're not going to have any laddering, like that big scoop of yarn in between the stitches when you knit this, but you also don't want it to be so tight that when this comes around it won't be able to slip up onto the larger needle because you can see the only thing holding out this stitch here is this cable, which obviously is significantly smaller than this needle. So um, it might take a little bit just to get the tension just right for that, but don't be afraid to play around and figure out just what your tension should be to make it look beautiful. All right, so then I'm just gonna knit across these as well. Just to let you see what this does look like mid-row. So you're knitting along here, you're right in the middle, and this is what that's gonna look like. Kind of like a big figure eight. These are your magic loops. Okay, and one more note, when I am doing magic loop, I always end up having picked up a ladder at the very end here. Again, by that I mean that the yarn um, connects one stitch to the next one. So this is not actually a stitch here. I'm just going to pull that off. I'm not exactly sure why that is happening. I haven't cared quite enough to look into it and figure out why. Um, do your stitch count. Make sure that you do have the 20 stitches that you want. And then um, just double check to make sure that really is a ladder for you. And yeah, I just pulled the needle right out of there. And then again, you're going to flip it around. And so now you have just done one whole row. See, we're back to the tail right here. So just like with any circular knitting, you're going to go all the way around and then come back to the tail. And that means you have done one row. And then from there, you're just going to repeat that process over and over again. Pull out that back needle, slide these stitches up onto this needle. The yarn is going to go over that back needle, pull this around and knit. keep an eye on your tension there. And then you can knit across and that is it. 
so I did a few more rows here just so you could see what it would look like and you can see being really careful with the tension on the sides you see no laddering there and doesn't look too tight or puckered so yeah and I don't know about everyone but for me this is so much faster than working with double point needles although to be fair the double points that I've been using have not been very high quality so probably just about anything is better than that I do really think that it, this is a lot faster and it's nice to not be getting poked all the time with double points so yeah there you go that's it all right i hope that was clear if you still have any more questions feel free always to leave a question in the comments below and i will do my best to clarify that a little more alternatively if you know a better method for magic loop knitting or you know some really awesome tip that i'm missing out on please let me know i love learning new tips and tricks for knitting that's about it thanks so much for watching and i hope you all have a wonderful week i'll see you next time